this amazing book came in the mail today. It is The Eddie Dickens Trilogy by Philip Ardoff. He is one of my favorite children's authors. And this is three books in one. This is the uh, 20th edition, 20th anniversary edition. But let me just read to you the first page. His writing style, man, just perfection. So episode one, crinkly around the edges, in which Eddie Dickens is sent away for his own good. When Eddie Dickens was 11 years old, both his parents caught some awful disease that made them turn yellow, go a bit crinkly around the edges, and smell of old hot water bottles. There were lots of diseases like that in those days. Perhaps it had something to do with all that thick fog, those novelly cobbled st streets, and the fact that everyone went everywhere by horse, even to the bathroom. Who knows? It's very contagious, said his father. And catching, said his mother sucking on an ice cube shaped like a famous general. Old hot water bottle smell is such a unique way to say, like, hot old rubber. And you know what that smells like. An ice cube shaped like famous generals. Like, come on, who'd have thought of that as just a quirk of the doctor that knows nothing on how to cure them tells them to do. Just like, oh my gosh. Absurdist and humorous and perfection. Um, I'm going to be reading this this month and hopefully I will find that scene with the fourth wall break. I think it's in this trilogy somewhere, but I'm not sure. I need to find it. I need my life to be complete. So it's Friday. The week was pretty awesome. My first ever flash fiction, Cthulhu Rises, I read it out loud and recorded myself and sent it in to Charlie Dorset for their project, their podcast, Project Shadow. And it was accepted, and so I was featured in there. So that was really cool. I'll link the in the description uh, to the episode if you want to listen to it. The story starts at 1404, I believe. But that was awesome. And then I have been writing feverishly even more flash fictions. And um, my necromancy one has been submitted to a bunch of different beta readers that have been getting feedback. And it is being polished to a shine. It is amazing. I love it so much. And then my witchcraft one I finished as well. And my sister is reading that one right now. And hopefully I will find some other beta readers for that one too. Um, if interested, please let me know. You can message me on um, on Instagram. So it's nettles.animation is my handle on Instagram. I'll link that below too. But I'm so happy with it. It is so dark. So creepy. I love it. I love it. I love it. But in other word, other news, so flipping good. Okay. I finally found the fourth wall break of all fourth wall breaks. So I forgot that this book has a narrator through the whole thing. So it is like they, they address the reader throughout the entire book series. So it's not like unusual to talk to the, to the reader in this book, but oh my gosh, this is the fourth wall breaks of all fourth wall breaks. So, this is on page 50 and 51. I'll read the whole thing to you just because it is fabulous. So, every story is told from a certain point of view. The storyteller, who is me, me, me in this instance, tells a story in a certain way and sticks to it. Apart from the occasional trip to Mr. and Mrs. Dickinson's bathroom, this story has been told from the point of view of staying with poor young Eddie. Wherever he goes, we go. When he got into the carriage, we went with him. When he spent the night in the stable of the coaching inn, we spent the night there too. When he was staring down the barrel of a fake revolver, we didn't run off and leave him there. But let's not be too proud of ourselves for standing our ground. If the revolver had been the genuine article and a bullet had been fired, 
Eddie would have been the one who was shot and bleeding, not us. I might have... I might be able to invent a book that fires a bullet at its readers whenever they turn to page 46, but imagine the mess it might cause in bookshops or public libraries. No, the important thing is that nowhere in the story have I said, meanwhile, and switched the action away from Eddie to somewhere else. It's perfectly okay to do that in a book. There's nothing wrong with it. There are some really good stories where the author says, meanwhile, and switches the action to somewhere else. But what a good storyteller doesn't do is suddenly change the point of view. After all this time of not saying meanwhile and switching the action to somewhere else, he doesn't suddenly say meanwhile and switch the action to somewhere else. Meanwhile, back at Eddie's home. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just so much going over point of view and just calling himself out. And oh my gosh, I love it. I aspire to have his humor. Just so good. So these books have won winner of the Roll Doll Funny Prize. And in the back it explains it as a scrumptious cross between Monty Python and Dickens. Like, it's perfection. I love it so much. So I've written part of that down in my sensational sentences part of my style bible that I am making for myself because it is definitely needed. Just, mwah, perfection. So this week I also started reading Frankenstein, Mary Shelley. I'm not very far in it so far. I was not expecting letters, so very interesting. So tomorrow is the Worldwide Write-a-thon, which I will be watching. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that the call had gone out, so I didn't get to put my name forth to be a host, but Oh well, I'll be watching and I will be vlogging on my progress and I will be working on some more flash fiction, horror flash fiction, to submit to be published uh, for Cemetery Gates Media and there's another one that wants a short story set in the cold. So whatever the cold is. So I am really excited. I want to write all of the horror and then also get back to my sci-fi. I'm not abandoning, abandoning it. I am applying what I'm learning and developing my style with the shorter pieces so that when I do dive into drafting my sci-fi, which will be ginormous, I will have a lot less editing to do because I will have solidified my style and have a lot better word choices in the first go round, so it'll be less intensive later. And I'm just really excited. So, this is me signing off. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>